At that time, P was changing. You know, he started taking chances. He goes from just being a solo artist to running a label with a brilliant strategic plan. At that particular time, P had a roster of artists from New Orleans. I'll call me the ice cream man. I know y'all y'all got this ice cream man album because it's straight up ice cream, 31 flavors. Silk, that's my brother. You know what I'm saying? See, Murder, that's my brother. We all one big family. It's all about getting paid in the nine squilla. In 96, when Ice Cream Man dropped, we were all pretty shocked because it did really well. And we were flying. We were doing unbelievable. People were buying the record, buying the record, buying the record. And I was happy we were going gold. And then it went platinum. The yeah, Ice Cream Man becomes his first project to go platinum. When Ice Cream Man went platinum, P wasn't shocked because he put the work in. He was making a fist load of money. It was unbelievable. He started getting checks for like a million, 750. First time he put 200, 300,000 in my account, I was scared to death. Man, we going to jail. But he like, man, shut up and come on. Despite his newfound success, Master P, he really wanted to get some coverage in a hip hop trade magazine called 4080. 4080 Magazine was very influential and important for the independent hustle movement. The Ice Cream Man album had so much success that Master P thought he should be able to get a solo cover. I was the editor of 4080 Magazine. I remember it came down to Master P and Busta Rhymes. As the story goes, P got on the phone one day with the publisher. P was adamant that he needed to have a cover by himself on the magazine. To emphasize his point, P shot a gun into the air. And so Master P got his first solo cover. I guess he made his point. Come on, man, don't believe that, but 48 is like to be, but. At that time, P was changing. You know, he started taking chances. He goes from just being a solo artist to running a label with a brilliant strategic plan. At that particular time, P had a roster of artists from New Orleans. With Mia X representing for the ladies. She had released Good Girl Gone Bad. And that's early stages of the signature No Limit sound. They also have Skull Duggery. Down south. Cain and Abel. Mr. Abel and Mr. Kane. And then P's brothers, obviously. C-Murder and Silk 